bloodbath in October for Bitcoin and all altcoins. That's what everybody is saying. There's turmoil around the world. There's war. There's interest rates. There's what's happening with Ethereum. There's global recession. There's all sorts of turmoil happening. And the world economy is on the brink of collapse. You can see it across news outlets all around the world. We are on the brink of collapse. Bitcoin is going to be hammered. It's going to go down substantially below 10K, says the majority of the people. But what if everyone was wrong? What if the exact opposite was about to happen? And what if this thing that was about to happen is going to shock the world? Sounds like a nice idea, but what if we based it purely on facts? What if we took an honest look at a handful of charts that scream the exact opposite is about to happen, that everyone is gonna be caught with their pants down, that people are going to miss the opportunity with Bitcoin and their favorite altcoin. Well, in today's video, that's precisely what we're going to do. We're gonna look at the most critical charts and I'm gonna present the facts in a simple and clear way and you can decide for yourself. If you're new here, my name is Steve. I went from welfare to minting millionaires with my courses hit that subscribe button and join the movement. Now we're gonna be covering several charts, this one, as well as this one, and several more that will really grasp your attention. And we're gonna base everything on the facts and the charts. You already know, unless you live under a rock, that in October, the world is gonna press the panic button and we're just gonna drop into a devastating and drastic plummet of prices around the world and people are gonna be hiding under their desks waiting for it to end. You already know that's coming, unless you live under a rock, right? So the majority of people are saying this, but what about the charts? We're gonna start with this chart and we're gonna go through the others. And before we get too far into it, we've released something just recently for free and people are going absolutely bonkers for it. I'm gonna tell you how to get it for free, but it's our marker reports. Everything you need to know about this week in crypto in simple and easy terms for anybody to follow with cool charts, great information, research, everything you need to know is just summarized simply and beautifully inside of this market report. And by the way, we might cover your favorite altcoin. And it's absolutely free right now. All you need to do is go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. You can see the link right here. And as soon as you go to the site, you're going to plug in your information here. And then you'll have your free market report waiting in your inbox. If you're already on the email list, go check it out. You're going to love it. People are going crazy about it. Now, we're going to start here on the five-day Gaussian channel. This is a chart that has treated us incredibly well. And if you're new to our channel, we predicted the bottom in 2018 when nobody wanted to listen. P Bitcoin price was around six or seven K. We said it was going to drop to about three K. Everyone said we were absolutely crazy and that we were going to a new all time high. You always want to do the opposite of everybody, but you don't just want to flip a coin and do the opposite. You want to base it on facts. We were about to have a three day death cross and then we had it and we plummeted to about three K. When we got down here to 3K, everyone screamed we were going a lot lower. The same people that were screaming up here that we were going a lot higher. Those people like to change their minds a lot and they don't base anything on the facts and the charts. It's purely emotion. Bitcoin will always do the opposite of everyone, including stocks will do the opposite of the herd. All right. Now we're seeing some similar action here. The Gaussian channel gave us foreshadowing in May of 2021. We made many videos about it. We said, look, plain and simple, when you're in a large rally and you touch the Gaussian channel, it acts like quicksand. Plain and simple. Leave a comment down below if you remember that video and the 900 other videos we made saying the exact same thing. We touch quicksand, it'll be roughly about one year in quicksand. Why did we say that? We based it on 12 years of history. Anytime we're in a large uptrend and we just touch the Gaussian channel, it acts like quicksand, it just pulls us down and we're in over our head and it takes us on average about one year to recover. What if I told you that, that those videos we made were precisely 485 days ago and we're still knee deep in quicksand, all right? Hard to believe, but again, we just base everything based on facts here. That's why you just subscribed, right? 
Now, what we're seeing with the Gaussian channel as our secret weapon, what we've noticed is that when we head into the Gaussian channel, right, after being in a large uptrend, we touch the Gaussian channel, it acts like quicksand, it pulls us down, and when we drop into the golden zone, which is the zone below the Gaussian channel, this is where the magic happens. We noticed that in 2014, our bottom price, meaning the bottom of Bitcoin, was precisely 59% into the golden zone. Meaning, if you took the level from up here, where the golden zone starts, to here, it's a 59% drop to the market bottom. Fast forward to 2018, we've noticed that it was, again, 49% into the golden zone marked this bottom. So we have 59, 49, What's kind of in the middle of that? Well, that's where we bottomed here. In 2022, we were precisely 53% into the golden zone, marking our bottom, all right? So this chart right here is screaming that the bottom is in. We've already dropped precisely what we've done in other markets. Who cares that the high majority of people are screaming we're going a lot lower? You always want to do the opposite of them. And then we look at further charts. We have our rainbow price indicator here. When we're in the bear market, when we drop into this blue area, which we did here all through this bear market, that marked the market bottom. Same in 2018. We touched this blue level here. And then the COVID crash, we went deep into the blue. We're in the blue right now. Okay, Dropping further from here, there is no further, right? We're already in the dark blue. We're in the lowest we can go. Now, we look at something even more important. Back in January, we started calling for a very large crash coming in the market. We called it a mega crash. Based on this, what Bitcoin does is follow precise patterns. In 2014, we crossed down with our momentum. Right after that, we had a very large rally. Bitcoin likes to get everybody really, really excited before it kicks them in the shorts. And that's what it did. It got everybody really excited with a rally. Right after we crossed down below here was a big rally, get everybody excited, and then a mega crash down here. 2018, same thing. We dropped below here in price. We had a big, large rally. Everybody got excited, and then we mega crashed down to here. 2022, we prepared everybody since January for this. If you missed out on this mega crash, hit the subscribe button. We talk about the largest moves in crypto, and it's usually moves that nobody's really talking about. All right. Now, this was same thing. We dropped below here, we had a very large rally, and then we had a mega crash. It's very simple. What you'll notice in the stochastic RSI and what we've been watching is a cross up. You can see we had a cross up back in July and we are rising. How do you know we're out of the bear market completely? We're gonna get above here. But this is where things get really exciting. Look at what we've done in the past. As soon as you start to have a cross up, it's game on. We've had a cross up and hopefully in this month of September, we can get higher than 5.8, which we're at right now. All right, if we can close above 5.8, it's game on with a cross up, it's game on. All right, so this is another major sign that nobody's paying attention to on the monthly chart with the stochastic guy having a cross up, pointing up and heading towards the most critical level is 20 level. Once we get above here, it'll be too late. Bitcoin will be a lot higher in price and you're gonna have missed your opportunity. Don't sit on your hands. I've said it time and time again. We've called for the bottom to be in a little over 90 days ago. Now, what we're doing in this video, we're gonna talk about the facts in each of these, and then I'm gonna give my honest opinion at the end, based on everything we talked about and what I think will actually happen with Bitcoin, so you can be well prepared. The next one is on the weekly, we have two of the most famous moving averages, the 50 MA and the 100 MA, and when they cross, for the first time, it's usually about halfway into the bear market, meaning we've already bottomed and we're about halfway into this bear market. All right, happened in 2015 when we had this cross, meaning the green line crossed the red line, happened about midway through, right? Even if you know nothing about charts, you're like, all right, I get that. This green line crossed through here, right in the middle. Pretty cool. How about in 2019? Well, we were about midway through the bear market and we had this cross, all right? 2022, what are we doing? We just had this cross. So we assume the bottom is already in and we're about midway through, all right? Which tells us we got about three more months of this turmoil and the next three months we could rally up to this green line, which we did in the past rallies, all right? So when you look at these moving averages, 
it's really fascinating what's happening, okay? Now, golden zones. One golden zone, two, three, four. In Bitcoin's entire history, all right? So we can debate whether the bottom is in or not because we don't know. What we can't debate about is right now, where price is right now as you're watching this video, it's one of the five best buying opportunities of your life. We can't argue that. Those are just plain facts in the charts. We've only been in the golden zone literally three other times, literally. Now, when we're in the golden zone and we touch this yellow line in the RSI, that usually marks the market bottom. It did so here and it did so here. And guess where we are? We're at the yellow line in the golden zone. So again, right in front of our faces, it's like, hey, you know, all these people are screaming that October is going to be a bloodbath. It's a world recession. We're going into a global depression. People are going to be hiding under their tables. Nobody's going to go outside. Nobody's even going to look at the sun. Well, right in front of us, hey, Bitcoin has pretty bright days ahead of it. We've already hit the bottom. We want to go on the facts and the charts, not our emotion, okay? So right in front of us, we have a golden opportunity. Well, how about this? We have the 100 MA and the 20 MA, even more critical levels on the weekly chart. And this marked precisely the market bottom every time for Bitcoin's entire history. 2015, when the yellow line crosses the red, was precisely at the market bottom. 2018, when the yellow line crosses the red, was precisely at the market bottom. 2022, when the yellow line crosses the red, was precisely at 17.5, which all the other charts are screaming the same thing, okay? So now let's get to my honest take. I've showed you many charts here, and again, we can cover many, many more. If you've seen our videos, there's a lot of charts that are saying the same thing, but here's what I think is going to happen. What I think is going to happen are all the people that were screaming that we're going a lot lower here, they're going to really, really, really regret that decision because they're going to buy in probably around 50K and they're going to get really caught with their pants down. We'll get more into that in the future. But what usually happens in market bottoms is people sit on their hands. They don't buy because they're waiting for some fictitious price that's supposed to come because everyone's screaming for it. It happens to be now below 10K. Everyone's yelling for below 10K, so a lot of people won't buy until it goes below 10K, but it will never go to below 10K again, unfortunately. So those people will miss out, and when we get up to 30K, they're still not going to believe it. And when we get up to 40K, they'll be on the fence, but they won't believe it. And when we get up to 50K, it's going to start moving quickly. So between 50 and 60, it's not going to be much time. And that's when they're going to buy in, between 50 and 60. And they're going to miss the boat because they were waiting for below 10. So they were waiting for below 10. They'll buy back in at 55, 60, unfortunately. So that's what I think is going to happen. That's what's playing out in front of us. It's a, not a popular idea. What I'm sharing with you is not popular at all. Still, the high majority of people believe we're going a lot lower. It was about 80, 85% here. In our most recent video, we talked about it was 60% still believe we're going a lot lower. And that's okay. That's emotion. It's just emotion driven. It has nothing to do with your education level or where you're from or what language you speak. It's just emotions gotten the best of you. And I'm here to share with you. I've been in markets for, you know, decades. And this is what happens in markets. The market plays with your emotion, period. When you look at the news and the media, they're all screaming the same thing. You want to do the opposite. Why is it so hard to do the opposite? Emotion. It's like if you're walking down the path and everyone says, do not go down the left path. There's danger down there. There's going to be snakes. You're going to be eaten. And everyone goes down the right path. You follow the herd. You go down the right path. It's scary down that way. That way is probably the way that can open more doors. It's just everyone's so afraid to go that way. They heard that there might be snakes. There's probably no snakes. They just heard that from somebody and they keep passing on this rumor and it becomes bigger and more powerful and more emotional and people won't go that way. That's human emotion. Same with the markets. They're screaming that we're about to go a lot lower and the bottom very well may be in. We still believe that the bottom is in based on the facts. I know this is not a popular opinion, but again, 
17.5 is where we called the bottom. We called it directly after that, and we have not wavered since then. And until more facts come in that the bottom is not in, we will not change our opinion. We will change our opinion if new facts come in that scream that the bottom is not in, then we'll, we'll, we'll reassess. But right now, we still believe the bottom is in. Do not sit on your hands. This is a golden opportunity. Go grab your market report, CryptoCareerUniversity.com. You're going to absolutely love it. And I'll see you right back here on the next video. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.